John Davison Rockefeller was born in Richford, New York, United States, on 8th of July, 1839. He was the eldest son and second child of six children to William Avery Bill Rockefeller and Elisa Davidson, his biological parents. His father was a lumberman who later became a traveling salesman, while his mother was just a homemaker. She was a modest Baptist woman primarily focused on taking care of a home. John's parents were good managers and they taught him how to utilize all that he had to have a better and profitable outcome. John's father was a wise businessman. He acquainted his son with some business principles, teaching him how to make the cut within the entrepreneurship world. The entrepreneurial influence of John's parents on him made him have the resolution to become one of America's most wealthy businessmen someday. As a young boy in 1851, he attended Oego Academy after his family relocated to Owego, New York. Three years after his schooling at Owego Academy, he was admitted into Cleveland Central High School. His academic experience at the school wasn't a pleasant one. He wasn't a dullard, but he sometimes struggled to keep up with his school's activity in class. He didn't complete his education in high school. He dropped out and didn't disclose his reasons for exiting school. John didn't have an interest in furthering his education. All he wanted was to start a business. Ever since he was a tot, he had been determined to emerge a successful entrepreneur someday. However, he didn't have any capital and experience in operating a business. John struggled to attend Folsom's Commercial College, where he underwent a 10-week business course. At 16 in September 1855, John was recruited as an assistant bookkeeper at Herit and Tuttle, a little produce commission firm in Cleveland. The primary purpose he worked at this place was to generate some money so that he can start a business, but his paycheck was pretty small. He worked long hours and was sometimes tired to continue the tedious job. However, he wasn't bothered or unhappy about the job. He always executed his duties passionately believing that his working time at Herwitt and Tuttle would eventually facilitate his business later on. In 1960, John ventured into the oil business. He built his own oil refinery not too far from Cleveland. In the first few months of starting the business, John wasn't making much profit. His business was still pretty young and needed to earn wide reception before it could thrive. John wasn't really disturbed about this problem believing it's one of those challenges in entrepreneurship. Within two years, John's oil refinery began to succeed and soon became one of the largest in the vicinity. But later on, John had some obstacles to counter. Other large competitors in the oil industry wanted John out of business. But John was a very smart young man. Over the years of operating a business, he had learned how to beat his rivals without them even knowing. John allowed big investors into his business and quickly incorporated the company. That way, his oil establishment became the biggest and he still remained the largest shareholder. In no time, John began to buy out almost all its competitors in the industry and was in control of virtually all the refineries in Cleveland and other cities. Within a few years, John's business expanded throughout the United States. His net worth in today's currency would have been over $300 billion. In a bid to succeed in all you do, determination is an essential part that you must play. Determination motivates you to have a better life and make a positive impact on your surroundings. Build dreams, live a healthier life, and have a strengthened relationship with others, provided you're determined to make it happen. Joel Osteen said, and I quote, it takes determination to see a dream come to pass. The question is not will you start, but will you finish? Anyone can start anything and most people do start. What makes the real difference is your commitment to the journey. Typically, the journey to a successful life is certainly a very long one. You can't start chasing a dream today and achieve it the next day. It's impossible. You must follow the path with a strong determination that you will eventually arrive at your destination. Robert Gardner said, Working hard, being patient and full of determination is perhaps the most fulfilling way of becoming rich. As you wake up this morning, make this your daily mantra. 
I will not look back until I get there. Anthony Robbins said determination is the wake-up call to the human will. When you're not determined about a goal, there's no way you can overcome obstacles or persist in getting that goal. Don't get tired. Be resolute and keep your determination alive.